What's up, YouTube? Just Gap here, bringing guys a brand new video up onto the channel. This video is going to be going over the patch notes for update 3.2 that's either coming out Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure if they've said it's Monday or Tuesday. It's most likely Tuesday because most, most of their updates come out on Tuesdays for whatever reason. I'm not, I'm not really sure why it's Tuesdays, but it's Tuesdays. So we're going to go through this live and in person. Uh, you know, I could make some edited and, and do the, the, the most highlighted big parts to me that I think are the most important. You guys to point out, well, I think we're just gonna. Sk I've skimmed through. I've skimmed through through it through it through it through it. Past it, I've skimmed through it on stream a day ago or two days ago, and we went over it. But I'm not gonna be streaming today. Today is Sunday, and I want to give you guys a video, and we're gonna go over the patch notes and what I think is a big deal for you guys who missed it that were in the live stream. I've been rambling too long. These things aren't scripted. I'm a real. I'm a real boy. I'm a real person. So, without further ado. Let's jump into this. So the big things I think we do need to get out of the way that we can kind of skim over uh, in here is the class system is back. So you got engineer, recon, support, and assault. Holy shit. And they're grouping the specialists into the different classes, and they have a permanent gadget, and then they have a free uh, uh, different gadgets they can, they can choose from, which is great. And I believe uh, the new specialist coming out in Season 5, I know this has nothing to do with 3.2, is going to be a recon specialist, so they'll be grouped into the recons too. But other than that, we also got some new weapons, the EMR, the MTAR, and the PP2000 coming. We also got weapon proficiencies for the classes and all that. We're, we're going we're gonna to get into it, but this is basically what everyone's calling the class system update. That, that's kind of the big overall overarching, oh, well, and breakaway, of course, the breakaway rework. The big overarching theme of this is the class system, what people have been, have been waiting for. For a long, long time. So let's, we're just going to stay. We're just going to skim through this. We're going to go over it. So as Assault, we got Dozer, McKay, Sundance, and Zane. I don't agree with Pike not being an Assault. I believe she's an Assault character. I know she has wall hacks and she spots and okay, but she's a very in-your-face brawler type character. You know, run her with, with smoke, shotguns, or a s smoke launcher or smoke grenades, a shotgun, and her wall hacks. It's absolutely filthy, but they put her in the recon. I understand. For the engineer, we got Boris, Crawford, and Liz. Now, if you notice, if you notice, there's no more uh, uh, Irish. They took Irish out of the engineer class. They swapped Irish and they swapped Crawford. So now Crawford's an engineer with Liz and Boris with the repair tool. Oh, and the assault permanent one is the med pin. And then they have the C5 explosive armor plate, Claymore, smoke launcher. So with the assault, <laughs> I know I'm skipping around here, but. I'm, I'm, I'm reading stuff and my brain's getting like, blah, blah, blah. with assault, Zane and McKay are going to be a problem. Now they did slightly nerf McKay and we'll get to that, but they buff, they just buff Zane. His, his, his launcher, his, his, what is it called? Airburst launcher is now thermal. So now you're going to have McKay or not McKay, Zane with a, with a thermal airburst launcher. His passive is staying the same, I believe. He regens when he gets hurt as long as you kill the person that hurts you. With a med pin, it's only one med pin, so they didn't nerf it, and an armor plate. Super Soldier Zane and Super Soldier McKay. <laughs> They're going to be a problem. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Continuing on. Obviously, with the engineer, we get the repair tool. You get all the launchers, the mine, C5. Recon is cast for Pike and Rao. Uh, of course, they got a permanent insertion beacon. <laughs> They're taking the insertion beacon away from my McKay. Oh, my... How could they do this? And they're nerfing the beacon into the ground. You can only spawn four times on a beacon before it's destroyed. Only four times. But they did fix it to where if you yourself spawn on it, it doesn't get destroyed. So every time you spawn in, you got to put one down, which we do that anyways. But if your teammates, let's say you spawn in. You spawn in, you put your beacon down. So you're cast for Pike or Rao. You put your beacon down, you run off. Or you set next to it like the rat that you are. <laughs> you run off. If your teammates die four times and spawn on your beacon, it's destroyed. So after you, if you die after them those four times, it's just gone. Good job. Good job, guys. We, we, we asked for that. We asked for that. So, of course, they get the beacon. C5 Claymores. The Proxens, Soflam L, Tracer Dart L, and the Tugs. I forgot about the Tracer Dart and the Tugs. <laughs> As if we're not spotted enough. As if we're not spotted enough. And we got support. We got Angel, Falk, and Irish. They, they permanent. Class equipment is the defibrillator. Excuse me. You get the ammo crate, health crate, claymore, and smoke. I'm not really sure why. Why? Why claymore? Why? Anywho, but those are your classes. That's, that's, that's everybody they put in class. Weapon proficiencies. Now, these, 
used to be different. I guess they got some pushback on Reddit. I'm not sure what happened, but when they were first talking about weapon proficiencies, they got leaked or something. Assault rifles, assault players with assault ri rifles were going to get better strafe speed. So you were going to have McKay with his nimble, with an AR with better strafe speed on top of his nimble strafe speed ability. That would have been, <laughs> that would have been ridiculous. But now, if you're playing as assault, you have assault rifle, you get three extra magazines, which is crazy. Engineer, which is a weird change here. Engineer with LMGs, you get improved spread. It says dispersion, but spread. Uh, while croucher prone, L, L, L. Recon and snipers have immediate and constant steady scope, L, L. Uh, anything, anything that helps snipers, yeet it into the sun. Support, SMG, you get faster draw time. Now, this isn't sprint to fire speed like a lot of people were saying it was, or we, what we thought. We thought this was like if you're running with an SMG and you come around the corner or somebody in your face, you can... That, we thought it was sprint to fire speed, but it's just swapping weapons, I believe, or swapping to your... I'm not 100% sure. Get off me. All right. Anyways. <laughs> but that's the... These, this, these are, in my opinion, the major changes coming in this. Obviously, we'll get, we'll get to the balance stuff. But this right here is meta-defining changes coming to the game. Assault is still going to dominate, in my opinion. I mean, you can nerf the, the drum mags. We'll get to that. You can nerf McKay's thing from 30 meters to 24. They're nerfing his nimble. The drum mags are getting nerfed to where their ADS speed is getting absolutely gutted. Just things we didn't ask for or we didn't need. Because the drum mags, you already got less ammo overall. You got more ammo per magazine. But you got less ammo in your reserve overall. And the reload t uh, uh, time was slower. So there were two downsides. Now there's three. So they just... Because people weren't using the other mag... Trash. Anyways. <laughs> Moving on, obviously, we got the breakaway rework. Now, there hasn't been gameplay put out. I haven't watched a ton of it, but up here on the glacier seems to be the most work they've done. Obviously, they moved the oil rig closer to the glacier and, and into the middle of the map, and they did some work off over here to the left side. But they are swapping the breakaway layout back to the old layout where it used to start at the top of the glacier. So, thank God they're switching it back to that because I'm tired of this other breakaway. Play out, I'm gonna be honest with you, but yeah, you guys, if you guys want to look at this yourselves, go head over to thebattlefield.com and all the update stuff is right here. But they just talk about where they moved uh, stuff. They workers' village snow cave is new, and uh, how they went about doing what they do. Now this is weird to me, strange, out of the left, out of left field kind of stuff they hit us with, which is the thermal scopes, and like I said, they changed. Zane's launcher the thermal for whatever reason. So we're getting a 1.5, a 2.5, a six times, and yeah, so a 1.5, a 2.5, and a six times thermal scope for all you snipers out there. Congrats. By the way, these thermal scopes cannot see through smoke launcher smoke or smokes that you throw. So the smoke launcher smokes and the smoke, uh, the smoke launcher smokes, sorry. The throwable smokes and the underbarrel smokes, it cannot see through those. However, it can see through vehicle smoke. So if you're in a tank and you pop your smoke, your smoke screen, it can see through that. Why you would want to be shooting your AR at a tank, even if you have armor piercing rounds, I don't know because you're just asking for it at that point. But it can see through vehicle smoke. So if a MAF pops its smoke and people are jumping out trying to use the smoke as cover, you can pick them off through the smoke uh, if they're like hiding you know, uh, uh, nudge it up against it, trying to use it. You, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But yes, so thermal scopes are coming for the game. There are only certain uh, thermal scopes you don't, you could put on certain weapons, so that's good. You, I don't think, I don't think you could put the 1.5 times on a sniper. You could put it on the Rorsch, though. <sighs> Anyways, moving on. And uh, they're finally bringing out the box, uh, the box suppressor for the NVK shotty. Now, I didn't, realize this but this shotgun is in the art when you first open up battlefield 2042 the season three screen the guy to the left of zane behind him has that suppressor on the shotgun he's like this like jumping over a rock he has that suppressor on the shotgun by the way this update came out on november 20 22nd right november 22nd yes yeah, so <laughs> and he's got the anyways <laughs> 
movie. Moving on. Ah, yes. Something that should have been in the game from the start. APS Active Protection System from BF4 and from BF3. BF3 and BF4 both had them, I believe. Did Backup 2 have it? I don't know. It's coming to Battlefield 2042 now. They have it, already have it on the RAM. That was the first vehicle to get it um, when Season 2 came out. And then the, the Railgun tank also has uh, Active Protection. And if a, if a Railgun tank is have, it has active, active Protection against a T-28 or M1A5 and understands how to use it, you literally have no chance. Even without Active Protection, you have no chance. But if they catch you out in the open with your pants down. But Active Protection will be huge. Specifically for the fact that Javelins, which is also being added into this update, go through Irish's Sentinels. You know, Irish's little Sentinels, that he's, the trophy systems that he sits down. The Javelin goes through it. The Recoilless doesn't. Liz's Missile gets destroyed. Grenades, uh, all kinds of shit gets destroyed. Except unless it's Lays the Recoilless and it goes through. But Javelins go through Irish's um, Sentinel. So if you want to sit back in a more defensive or a more uh, art, what I call art, like a more artillery, you know, you're just shelling points from a distance. Um, you have to be smart and be on the lookout for whether it's a lazed recoilless or a javelin. Uh, and the javelin, they go up and they come down and hit the top of the tank. So you got to look out for missiles doing this instead of, you know, coming straight at you, you know, being locked on. Or, but when you're getting locked on and it says missile incoming, you, you, you got you to pay attention because they apparently in Portal... It was a bug where they were kind of just going like that, like like that or something. But now they they go vertical, like the real javelin, I believe, does this. It goes up, it hits the top of the tank instead of hitting like kind of the front at a diagonal. Um, so that you have to kind of work your work your magic there, and hopefully, um, I gotta work on it too. But APS would definitely help with a more aggressive playstyle because right now with the tanks, uh, you just have to sit on the hill with Irish. And a repairman and just farm. And it's fun, but it can get a little boring when you're not getting the kills you, you necessarily want. But uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but we're going to go through most of it. So sit back, relax, and listen to my voice. I don't, I don't know. Oh, Below Radar is also coming for air vehicles against uh, other vehicle lock-ons, not infantry lock-ons. Like I said, we're getting the EMR, the MTAR-21, and the PP-2000. I have not tried either one of these guns. I've tried the PP2000 in Portal with that Bad Company 2 versus uh, BF3 mode. That, that, that was Friday Night Battlefield the, uh, a couple weeks ago or maybe a week ago. Um, it was all right. We'll see what the MTAR and the EMR are like. Just new weapons to Tier 1. That's 1,200, 2,400, 3,600 kills. Uh, fresh kills that we can get to Tier 1, the weapons. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Some, some new stuff. And, and uh, if you guys haven't gotten the Season 1 and Season 2, um, battle pass stuff like for not finishing they're giving some of it out i don't know if this is all the legendary skins from both those battle passes but you just have to log on to 2042 and, and you'll get uh for year one pass golden ultimate owners if you don't have that stuff from the first two seasons you gotta log on it's gonna give you all that shit or some of it but got ar soldier battlefield portal stuff i don't really care gadgets uh we can go through the gadget stuff like i said they're adding the javelin to the game the insertion beacon's getting nerfed. We've already gone over that. We got the claymore. Medpin got nerfed. Um, you only get one now instead of three, and they, you know, did some did some stuff to it. Recoilless, they up the projectile speed, which is it was already a hit scan. Now it's an even bigger hit scan. Proc sensor. The tugs is coming into the game. Also, the tracer dart guns coming into the game. LL, two L's. Um, game flow stuff. General improvements. Okay, okay, okay. Hazard zone. Nobody gives a fuck. Uh, maps, some clipping issues where you could, uh, oh, this is what I want to go over about Kaleidoscope, right here. No, 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 where's that? Right here. The last sector on Kaleidoscope, as you guys know, Breakthrough, that second point can be hell to capture because the enemy can just sit on, on that second floor and just fire at the doors, the, the three doors, the three entrances, and just put APS down and shields down and you can't hardly do shit even if i get in there which happens a lot you smoke the door you jump you jump in that back side right there because I, I used to I only go in one side on that left door not the front or the one to the right of the building on that left side building you jump through there you kill three four dudes and then you try to jump up top and you just get slaughtered over and over and over so they're extending the capture zone um outside of the building 
Expanded the capture area of C2 flag during the last sector. I don't see they don't specify where they expanded it at, but it might be like the C1 um capture on the last sector where that outside part also counts as uh, the capture area. So maybe they're gonna do something like that, maybe, or they're gonna extend it down to the left where that like dip like plaza part of the map is. I'm not really sure. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see on Tuesday. But uh, yeah, that that's one of the ones I'm gonna talk about. Uh, well, I want to talk about about for kaleidoscope. English is hard. English is very hard. But uh, some soldier stuff. Uh, I don't really know if you guys really care. Here are some of the specialist tweaks they're tweaking. Boris's gun is gonna now do damage to vehicles. So is Crawford's minigun. LL. Not very much, but why? Nobody asked for it. <clears throat> I don't think anybody really cared. Uh, now you cast remains. You can now actually fit in bushes with your recon drone. Congrats. Uh, like I said, they're giving Crawford the ability to damage vehicles. Um, and Crawford's new passive, because they gave his passive to... Uh, what am I trying to... They, he, they gave his passive to Irish. His new passive is, I think it's, it's called like critical damage or critical, critical repair. To if a vehicle's... Or gadgets uh health is critical it repairs twice as fast so that's totally not going to be a problem in the hind and the condor right <clears throat> anyways <laughs> that's totally not gonna be a problem some falc uh irish okay this th these liz changes take up almost the entire screen this shit right here is Cancer, to say the least. So they increased the range from 450 meters to 600 meters. That means you're going to be getting chased by Liz missiles across the entire... And not to mention the spawning in and being able to just shoot Liz missiles up and just hit tanks without ever... Rev I know they're putting APS in the game, but if there's enough Liz's, they're going to kill you because they're TV, shoulder-mounted TV missiles that shouldn't be in the game. They should be shraws from bf4 but that's a whole nother you know that you gotta they gotta use more than two anyways <laughs> they did re they did reduce her uh wall hacks for vehicles from 175 to 125 reduce her uh same trait from 400 300 on air vehicles which is good uh they boosted the speed of the boost from 100 wait what increase the speed of liz's when boosted from one okay well there you go uh, they increase its hitbox, which will make it easier to shoot down when it is coming at you, which is good. And I've gotten pretty decent at shooting them down in the tank now. So with the hitbox being bigger, um, they're going to have to get more creative with the ways they, they, they hit the tank instead of going straight at it. Um, which you kind of needed to do that anyways, because against a, get, a decent tanker, he's going to shoot one down to a blue moon. And so you want to come from the top or the back or the, you know, whatever. But the fact that they're doing anything but nerfing, like... They nerf it, and then here comes some bullshit like this. They're like, oh, but we reduced this, this. But this right here is... I don't even want to... <laughs> McKay's grapple is getting reduced from 30 to 24 meters, L. Um, his nimble is also getting nerfed with LMGs, uh, assault rifles, and DMRs, but it's going to stay the same with SMGs and pistols. So, McKay, PBX, K30, meta coming, incoming. Uh, Rao, uh, some more cancer here in, this, um, in, these, in these patch notes. He can now laze targets after he hacks them, like a soul flame. As if he wasn't strong and cancerous enough, they're going to give him the ability to lock on and laze targets for recoilless and javelins and other law and whatever on sundance we got some zane fixes or zane uh tweaks like i said his thing is going to be thermal now his airburst is going to be thermal so we'll see how that plays out uh vehicles not anything too ridiculous i saw that they are changing the the hannibal and the, and the huron uh, you can no longer have quick repair and flare. You have to pick one or the other. Oh, and they're also removing the crosshairs, uh, from you if you're above 400 meters in the helicopter. So quite the big, they already gutted the, 
the uh, the weapons outside of the bombs. The bombs are still pretty strong, and now they're gonna make it even harder on you. Plus buffing Liz, plus buffing Rao. How about you just take the vehicles out of the game? Oh wait, you've already done that in Breakthrough. You took all the air vehicles away. Hmm. A combined arms game where we just take vehicles. Hmm. Take you should take snipers out of the, but you won't, of course, because Reddit will come apart at the seams, right? The the dads on the. Never mind. <sighs> they did some aim assist tweaks. Um, they also did some mouse input tweaks, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, I think we've gone over all of the big stuff. So if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share. Tell me what you guys thought about the uh, you know all the patch notes and the. What's what's gonna happen? Are are you excited for the new update? Update? Are you gonna come back to the game? Maybe you haven't played in a couple months or since launch. Are you gonna come back to the game now that they've kind of figured themselves out a year and four months later, a year and a half later, a year and three months later, whatever it is? Uh, tell me. Let me know down below. So yeah, I think I already said like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. But uh, it's been just Gab, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, <gasps> Girl Scouts. <gasps> See you. Bye, guys.